<laughs> Power episode six, a change man. After a spiritual awakening with the Reverend, Ghost confesses his sins to Angela. Angela preps Tasha for her federal questioning. Ghost must break his business deal with Tommy when truth is audited by the IRS. Let me tell you something about this episode. I think this episode was actually keeping the ball rolling from last week. Like, this episode was pretty good. Like, there was a bunch of movement in this episode. I felt like I was watching the old power with this show. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, the old power, not necessarily the old power. I hate to say that. I'm going to just say, I felt like, when I was watching this episode, I felt like how I felt during the early seasons where each scene leaves you like, dang, dang, right. dang. And it's all of these, like, puzzles that you see that are, the pieces are being put together in everybody's puzzle, bro. Right. It is like, to get real, like, it's hard to see how they about to get out of this situation with, yeah, the IRS. 100% agree. I, or, or whoever, the detectives, the AUSAs. I don't see how Angie is about to get out of this shit. Tasha, I don't see none of it. But let's let's just let's just go over like how it begins. Great the great first scene because Ghost starts off by saying, Hey look, Angie, I didn't leave your ass because I didn't fuck with you. I left you because Lobos was gonna kill right. your ass. That was his way of saying, yo, like he still basically telling her that he still loved her. Yeah, like yo, I hope you know. Cool, because we left the last episode where he came in. And we're like, damn, I don't know what we gonna open there. You know, power sometimes I open the episode with bucket. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. <Yeah. laughs> so we had a bare ass yeah. leg coming in, in brain. A uh, sheet. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know what we was gonna get. So that was a really cool scene. Uh, he ended up staying there. Honestly, they, yeah, they tossed and turned and shit. They was thinking about remember, each other. Yeah, remember we thought Angie might have been, you know, been weak and, you know. Ghost, uh, was, Ghost was like in her face and then she was like, yes. Yeah, it's pillows. Type shit. Yeah, it's pillows. Like, we not even about to get into Love that. that. Then Tasha shows up. Tasha shows up, and then they basically tell Ghost, hey, look, we done knew about this shit and been planning some shit the whole time. Right. While your ass was getting drunk. Yeah. <laughs> basically. And uh, then there's this big debate about, like, how can you trust her? How can he trust us? You know what I mean? Right. Ghost has to leave it to them because they have the plan. Ghost, he ain't got no plan about this shit. Ghost ain't even really thinking about the ballistic report and the gun and shit and how they think he killed Raymond. Right. This nigga worried about a, a trio of other things. This episode is a whole bunch of ghosts changing. He's admitting a whole bunch of wrongs and shit this episode, so he just gotta be like, yo, y'all do it. All right, but let's talk about Tasha and Rodriguez. Rodriguez is that character that ain't letting up, bro. Hey, look, that's how feds are to me. We know what the fuck is going on. Now you need to tell us some shit. So they basically bring Tasha in to be, uh, and Tasha and Angie have been prepping for this very moment where they bring Tasha in and ask her about the gun with Raymond. Well, like the creator said at the end, you know Tasha ain't gonna break. That's what I love. We bro. all knew Tasha wasn't gonna break. Terrence thought she was gonna snitch. No, I didn't. But I, I knew that. I knew Rodriguez was digging at her ass. She was. She was like, she okay, was they, convincing her. They're conspiracy. They're, they got a conspiracy against you, and this is the thing. She stopped putting all the things that Angela was saying together. Like, hmm, they could be fucking me right. Up. When Tasha, because they fucked you over before. I love the way they went about that. The fact that we have that backstory on Tasha, it made us feel the same way about her. Yeah, we like, like yo, is she really playing you? Exactly. I love shit like that. The big ep the episode is like buried around trust at this point. Like, yes. trust should be the big word of this episode because everybody has to come to a trust uh, this episode. So if you think about it. Dre don't trust Chris, Crystal Ball, same mm -hmm. person. Dre don't trust him. Kanan is trying to gain trust from Tariq. Ghost is wondering how Angie and Tasha trust each other. Tasha don't know if she can trust Angie. Tate has to trust uh, Ghost when Ghost said he was gonna do what he was gonna do. Dre and fucking Ghost meet together and they say we well, ain't gonna do that shit. I know I just lumped everything together, but mm -hmm. trust is everything this episode. That's pretty true though. Yo, Dre, Dre was in his bag this episode, episode, his bag this episode. Shout out to Rodney. What bro, Timmy, bro, Timmy, for his fucking acting, bro. He did a great job. Bro, Timmy, you getting your shit off, my G. Yeah. And it's my thing. That nigga could land a very nice role in the future. He plays such a good, aggressive antagonist. Yeah, and you can see his character elevate, bro. And if, you know, my favorite thing about his acting is that you can still tell that he's doing everything because he's trying to, he's still trying to gain a level of control that he sometimes doesn't have. Like, to watch how vulnerable he was, and a lot of people go through that, 
with the Spanish people that was, or the, the people that were speaking Spanish. Yeah. He didn't really know how to deal with that shit. He don't. And I think the best thing about Dre and the best thing about Rotini, that's his name, Rotini? Rotini. Damn it, this nigga's name. I think the best thing about his performance is, you know, he he's trying to act like he got this shit together, like he's ghost. But he, right. you can tell he ain't ghost, and you can tell he knows he ain't ghost, bro. Like, he, he be fucking up, and then he yeah, don't got shit together. The he other, be breaking down. The other side of that is that, think about how we saw Ghost in the beginning. He was going through shit. Remember? But I always believed that Ghost, Ghost had it. Yeah, but you did sometimes felt like, Ghost, I don't know how the fuck you about to do this. And now we're starting to feel the same way about Dre. This could easily be... But I don't really feel that way about Dre. I mean, about Dre. With Dre, I also feel like, nigga, you getting ready to fuck everything up and you are losing it. I felt the same way when about Ghost like, in the beginning. When he was like, they setting me up, they setting me up. I'm like, you losing it, nigga. <laughs> you are fucking losing it. And even his boy is like, look at you, nigga. I done been told you about this nigga Crystal Ball. But you know what? You see how Ghost, I mean, you see how Dre ended up handling his shit at the end. Dre handling his shit like a real G. Right, go Set up our Toros, bitch ass. Hey, look, nigga. You need to tell me some shit. Oh, thank you got some motherfucker. You say it. Hey. Oh, so let's talk about Ghost and Tariq. Ghost and Tariq's relationship is shit. Oh, well, yeah. That nigga ruined his It's beat. honestly been shit. Yeah, nigga, but that nigga ruined his B-Day. And now it's like, fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. He told Kanan, while, well, while Ghost's relationship is being ruined with Tariq, Tariq is building a great ass relationship with Kanan. Right. They setting big shit up. Mm -hmm. This nigga Tariq, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. This nigga Tariq is getting ready to start selling them pills in that college dorm or whatever that school is he is, and he's gonna be selling the pills that Kanan took from a boy. Right. As a viewer, I love to see Kanan and Tariq back together because I'm like, oh shit, some shit about to go down. No bullshit. We don't know what the fuck about to happen. Yo, that com that conspiracy about Fifty Cent being Not his dad. dad. Keep saying Fifty Cent. That conspiracy about Kanan being his dad, bro, is starting to seem like it's true. It's in my mind all the time. Because now, do you remember? Kanan said, at least your pops took care of Ray Ray. Ray Ray. He was like, he didn't do that shit. I did it. But did you see how Fifty was looking at him like he was proud? Almost of him. like a father was looking at his kid, and then he had to be like, oh, you did good. You did good. You can literally see him say, all right, let me just play the shit off. Right. It's something about that, bro. We never and know. And when he said to Tasha last episode, it's kind of like, well, one of the last episodes, who knows? But um, let me just say the scene where Tariq act like he had the asthma attack, y'all can keep it, pal. Keep it. That was straight bullshit. That was straight bull. This nigga was like, oh, my, my teacher's name is, I would have been like, get your stupid ass up out the car. <laughs> Get y'all dumb ass out. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? He was like, oh, my, my, my teacher. I would have been like, are you fucking kidding me, Mitt Mudgy? Nice try. <laughs> Get your ass out. Get your ass out the cock. I want to talk about Teresi and, Teresi and Tommy, bro. Honestly, the episode, they did too much father-son bonding. You remember they were joking eating at McDonald's, and it's like, we already know their relationship. I feel like they why want, is that they want you to feel like that though. They want you to feel like, oh, here they go again together building this relationship. Because think about Tommy. I think that all comes from the fact that you don't, you're thinking about how Tommy is now becoming, you know, that big heart of his is coming out and now he's getting real close to his dad. And like, oh, whatever you can tell. When Ghost came in there, he was like, whatever you can tell him, you can tell me. And it's like, really? Fuck me? And then think about the other side of it. The best thing is that it's not just Teresi trying to be a fucking good dad. Teresi's on some completely wild shit yeah. trying to set Tommy up. And we found out that Teresi is on some big wild shit because they on his ass. Right. They like, look, bro, you keep giving us these little ass facts. You need to give us a big one. Or otherwise, your ass needs to remember why your ass is out. Mm -hmm. And the thing about what happened though with uh, when Teresi's best friend Sammy came and he was like, we're gonna give him up to the feds. So yeah, we like, really don't. You never. Teresi is not a character. Teresi. Yeah, you don't know what the fuck he about to do. Let's talk about. Ghost and Dre, how they made that deal. Okay, cool. Yo, you yeah. take out Jimenez, I'll go ahead and handle Tommy's connect. So now, next episode, next episode, episode going down. I just wanna see, no, no homo shit. I just wanna see Ghost back in the black, bro. I ain't nothing like when Ghost put on that black Nike fleece tag. Oh, he about to, you about to go down. Yes, sir. Shit is going down. Y'all remember when Ghost told Angie, if I was Ghost, would I answer that question? And she was like, basically. <laughs> then he called Tommy and was like, yo, what's up? It's a ghost. Let's go! <laughs> Y'all remember that episode? That episode was lit. I absolutely love the fact that Ghost and Dre 
Like, think about it. All parties involved on both of their sides think they want to kill each other, but now they're working together. Nobody knows it. Tommy and Kanan will get killed. We'll get Dre out of here. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. Now, Tommy and Dre got a deal. I mean, I'm sorry, Ghost and you know, Dre got a deal. Now, they got a deal. I mean, I'll do this for you. He yeah. got his job back. All this shit is happening so much underwater. So fast. Is that with Dre? Dre is in, and it makes such good fucking TV to watch. Because it's like, damn, these motherfuckers don't know, but they doing this shit on the side. Proctor is always in some deep shit. That nigga's about to go down. He's, about to go He's down. on a rack. Hey, yeah, John Mock was in his bag. This, John this, Mock this, went and saw baby mom. Told her, look, we about to fuck up custody for your daughter. Yeah. So if you don't tell us some shit. They told uh, Proctor, you got 48 hours to tell us some shit, my nigga, or a uh, arrest warrant will be right. issued. Proctor's about to snitch. He just looked like a snitch. He looked like he about to. He looked like he about to crack, bro. He always looked like he's about to crack, bro. He don't know what he got to get. But Proctor's very, very smart. He knows the law, so I don't know. Yeah, hey, shout out to him meeting with us. You said his name, Detec Detective Herc. Ah, uh, two shows on HBO, right? So we already got Turtle, who's playing Proctor. To see him walk up to Herc from the wire, it's like, all right. Yeah. Look at that HBO bag, real quick. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, real quick, let's talk about this. Uh, Angie and Ghost had that moment where they actually kissed, bro. Oh, they yeah, actually yeah, kissed yeah. and kind of said, did. you know what, we back. But you know what, my favorite thing about that is Ghost is talking about a whole episode called, you know, being called a change man. That was literally showing, Ghost showing that he can really change. Because think about it, we all thought they was getting ready to get it in. Get it in. We just thought that. Because I was at both yeah. for four seasons before this season, that's what they do. They, they go all these different ways and get back. But he was like, maybe things will change if I actually try to change or something like that. Mm -hmm. And and I like to see that. It was it was I like to see it. that. It was like, all right, maybe you actually will change. Right. Uh and then last but not least, you got the last scene with Tasha and uh Angie and Ghost. And Angie and Ghost. Tasha basically tells them, look, y'all got it messed up if y'all about to be teaming up against me. Cause I'm starting to believe some of the stuff she's yeah. saying because the shit sounds true. Right. You uh, found a bullet? Right, you found a bullet, you ain't tell me that. Right, but she but she think of what she said though. She was like, I didn't think it was gonna trace back to Ghost. I thought he was I mean, of course I thought if it was with him, he would be more careful. Right, and of course I don't think Ghost and Angie are teaming up against Tasha. Right. I think that was just a good ass move by, by the Blanca. Yeah, by Blanca. Very, very yeah. smart. Good move. And I love how Angie was like, yo, this is what they do. They try to they try to they try to, you know, make you paranoid. It's ridiculous. And then it ends with the episode where the trust is kind of split. Yeah, in a way. Tasha basically be like, hey look. I'm gonna get Silver to lie for me. Ghost is like, why would he do that? And she said, because he loved me more than you ever did. Damn. Damn, now that we nigga gotta like me get out of jail. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and see this bald headed ass nigga more. This bald smiling ass. I ain't never seen a smiling ass nigga like that nigga. Cause think about it y'all, when she was getting in, when she was getting interrogated by Rodriguez, she said, Silver saw me put the, the gun back. Right, yeah, she used face. him as bait. But so you gonna, kinda, but you know the bad thing though? This is my thing, like I, I feel bad for Tasha. So much sometimes. Why? Right. Because she lost her daughter. Her husband, you know, was with this, uh, is in love with this, this chick. And she's literally doing all, Tasha's doing all of this shit for her family. She don't want Tariq to get caught, that's her son. She already lost her daughter in this shit. And now the one man that she, that loves her, she gonna have to go and try to, you know, put him in the middle of all this shit. She could potentially lose that relationship. Right. It's just fucked up for her, bro. It really is. Like that scene where she was like, I can't forgive you. And she just stormed off. I was like, damn, I love you feel bad for her. I Shout out to Team Tasha. Fuck Angie. And not and, and what is Angie doing? She do gotta save herself a little bit, but I do think she still care about God. But Angie damn sure, damn sure is saving herself. She told her, look, I'm in this too, so we need to work together. Right. You damn right I'm trying to save myself. Like, why the hell you think I met with your ass if it wasn't for me? Right, if I were to lock your ass up, that could've happened. Yeah. I got the damn ballistic report. <laughs> uh, shout out to this episode of Power. I think it was pretty good. I'm looking forward to next yes, week's sir. episode. But you know what? I'm not gonna say we need, we need. Uh, I just hope they can keep the ball rolling because two good episodes in a row. Right. Uh, so, Poe gonna be right there in the corner. Uh, go ahead and say whether you fuck with the episode or not. Make sure you follow us on the socials. Follow us on the right socials. Here. I am at 10K. You made it to 10K? You know. I'm at like 9959. Nine. Oh, by the I time. should be there. If you already subscribed, make sure you turn on the notification. Yes, sir. Let me start over. If you already subscribed, make sure you turn on the notification bell so you get notifications every time we upload it. If it's your first time watching us, uh, yeah, check out all of our other content. Hit the subscribe button. Hey, join the mob and get the merch. Yes, join the mob, get the merch. Join the mob. That's what we on now. We a mob. Why? Because we at war with each other. And you fuzzy niggas who think we ain't at war, you niggas gonna be surprised. <laughs> Cause when me and my niggas pull up with choppers, you ain't gonna see guns blazing.
You only gonna see red coming from your body. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the time you probably hear Bruce Wayne. Y'all already know what that means, dog. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Bruce Wayne. Go on now.